Hey everyone, how's it going? How's life? Uh, I'm just gonna give it a couple seconds for people to get in. I'm in a new location. I'm hoping the styling um, keeps the live stream going. As we know with Starlink, and I've said this on multiple live streams before, if it says that the stream is ended and I have not said bye, just refresh the stream. Okay? And I'll be back. It just, what happens is um, sometimes it like swaps between satellites with Starlink. And when it does that, it drops for like a millisecond and uh shows on youtube that i've gone offline when i haven't actually and i'm actually still online so just refresh it um yeah when it when it uh does that a lot of people um uh, chatting i thought i'd do a live stream because um uh, the video i uploaded had an ungodly amount of comments more comments than i get on average um a lot of them being very positive i don't think i had a single one that was negative and um some of them, some people doing quest asking questions and stuff. So I thought I'd do a live stream and chat to you guys about it. Um, obviously, when talking about stuff like this, um, we have to be very careful on YouTube because there's still laws in place about it. Obviously, um, I am not, I am not saying that you should do any of this stuff. Um, what I'm saying is if you, um. If you do have any issues like I do with depression, PTSD, anxiety, make sure you see a doctor, make sure you see a therapist. They, they should be your first stop for everything. Everything. Okay, guys? So, although you're here and we're going to talk about this stuff, uh, remember, if you are thinking of this stuff, then you need to see a doctor and a therapist soon and... Uh, make sure you're in a safe place and a legal place for any of this stuff because there are places where this is legal like in canada and in colorado and in oregon and in washington i'm pretty sure maybe i'm not sure actually so um just bear that in mind okay guys like there's a few boxes you've got to tick first um if you were gonna you know think about any of this stuff but i got people have got questions and stuff like that and um i want to talk a bit more about it the whole goal with talking about microdosing was to start the dialogue. I know there is a lot of other military members who have a lot of PTSD, anxiety, and depression. And um, this new kind of uh, frontier for um, the mind is working wonders at the moment. Obviously, there's still a lot of science that has to be done. So um, we can talk about it, and if you've got any questions, then we can we can try and and uh, get around that and and uh, figure some stuff out. There's a lot of people in the chat, a lot of people um, asking questions. I see Ark. How's it going, Ark? You're legend. Um, Alan's in the chat. Declare Wars in the chat. Shadow Seeds in the chat. Jonathan Fire Hyper Boom Dale Nuclear uh, Gritty. Dale, I like chicken. Um, all in the chat. How are you, Captain Deadpool? Why are you taking shrooms? Is it because of your service? Okay, so a lot of people don't even know anything about this. Okay, so let's talk about that first and foremost. Um, <clears throat> God, where to even start? Basically, certain substances that were deemed illegal back in the 60s, 70s um, were actually used for ceremonial purposes uh, for thousands of years, thousands of years. And what we've started to see is that these certain substances are actually very beneficial for your mental health, uh, for your all-round well-being, and even spir spiritual benefits, right? They were used in like you know um seances and like all these different kind of ritual mostly ritual based things right and we can go through the history of each one but you can you can read on that there's better people online that can tell you the, the history of mushrooms and where they came from mexico and there was this lady who was doing these ceremonies because they did it a lot over there and uh, one westerner came over tried it told the rest of the world she got a lot of you know hate from the rest of the community the burnt house down like there's a bunch of stuff it's very interesting when it comes to psilocybin mushrooms that you should check out um 
and obviously there's other psychedelics as well like stuff like peyote and stuff like that that's got a whole other um discussion around it when it comes to um you know um who and when and why should this be used and uh, respecting it and respecting the culture behind it and all this other stuff but i'm not going to get into that because that's not my place to talk and i am not an expert in that the only the only reason i put that video up is because i wanted to start a dialogue i wanted to get other military members who are doing it who need it to start talking because i think it's really important and the more we talk about this stuff the better okay um just starting a dialogue just starting a dialogue so microdosing, and I'll go over the this again if, if people don't really know what it is. It's taking a psychedelic substance like psilocybin and um, taking it in such a small dose that you don't necessarily feel it, um, but it has um, cognitive benefits um, in like in the background of your mind that help you out. Okay, and and it's very small, like so a regular dose if you were going to do a ritual would be anywhere between one to three grams upwards of seven grams if you're going crazy right and a micro dose is anywhere between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 so very small very very small and you don't necessarily feel it and you take it on a bit of a schedule and um and and it's for me it's it's been incredible right i can't say i'm not going to say that it's you know it's a miracle drug because like i said there's a lot more science that has to be done behind it okay when did i start microdosing i started back last summer last summer um greetings original says brian how's it going my dude what's psilocybin psilocybin is the psychedelic compound that is in magic mushrooms okay it's a certain compound that creates um hallucinogenic effects and stuff like that I did not know about this until now. Yeah, so this is this is exactly why I'm trying to do this, right? Like, there's a lot of people that could really benefit from this. Um, and I feel like the word just needs to get out. It needs to get out. Tracer with a $20. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, mate. Love you, man. Always got my support. What a legend. Thank you so much, my dude. Thank, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Very, very kind of you. Um, it resets your mind, alleviates addictions, allows you to think more clearly, it helps with anger management, helps you chill out. Well, that, that's some of the claimed benefits, right? Um, for me, personally, what I see it is calm. It's a lot easier to be living in the moment um, and a lot easier to not have, <clears throat> like, um, anxiety and stress when you're doing, like, very normal tasks getting the kids dressed to go outside sometimes you can get a bit anxious and be come on let's go like oh it's just something that's like happened to me because of the military um the ac on real quick um so it, it helps kind of bring that down a little bit which which is really nice and obviously um the other things as well is i have like dreams and nightmares um about um the military the before microdosing would happen once or twice a week and it would really ruin my day and although i've had them dreams i don't get as anxious about them anymore and the only i've since doing it since last summer i've probably only had like one big bad dream that's made me really struggle which is pretty amazing if you think about it in it it's pretty damn amazing so um it's it's changed my life a lot did mushrooms once it wasn't for me um yeah if it's not for you that's okay that's totally okay uh i was just curious i check in with your channel for the past few years so i thought this was out of the blue from usual content it definitely is like that last video definitely was out of the blue for me um i haven't spoken to about it i've told some family and friends um but it is very much out of the blue to put this on youtube what i noticed was there was a lot of the youtube channels talking about this and i felt like th they were always talking it from an informational place which is the best place to be to be honest with you no one's no one's openly saying i'm a mil i was i'm a former military member i'm a veteran and i'm doing this and it's helping me uh, especially on youtube and i think that's really important and i think that's a place that is something that needs to happen um 
Howdy, mate. Might be a good start from the top, getting out of boot camp. What was that like entering the service, and how do you feel handled the transition? Okay, I'm not going to talk specifically about military. Well, I mean, I'm, I am kind of talking about military stuff, but the transition from getting out of the Marines into CV life was really hard for me. Um, not because I didn't want to get out, because I really did. It was because of how much anxiety, depression, and PTSD I had. Um, and and it all stemmed from being bullied. That's what it stems from. And um, for a long time, everyone around me just swept it under the rug. Like it wasn't there. And I was in a very, very bad place. And I was um, using alcohol to mask it quite a lot. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Rituals. Yeah, like, you know, like pagan rituals. Uh, there was a lot of kind of pagan-esque rituals in Mexico where these mushrooms were used for ceremonial purposes um and it was all to do with just helping people just helping people that's all it was and you can read stories of mythology where cultures have used psychedelics to help with spiritual mental um, and physical healing for a very long time um, but unfortunately during the 60s 70s um all drugs got banned um uh, which put a bad uh, reputation around all of them when that shouldn't have been the case we should have been re-looking at that and and we should have looked at it and been like okay well this isn't a like mushrooms aren't a party drug like you shouldn't you can go out on a party after you've done it but it's not meant for that i'm gonna learn stuff from it are shrooms actually mushrooms yes they are yeah sometimes you can find them out in the wild and that's the thing they grow on the ground imagine making something illegal that grows on the ground that plant in there, that mushroom in your garden is illegal. You're going to get arrested because that plant grew in your garden. <laughs> isn't that fucking nuts? It's absolutely nuts, isn't it? Um, when are you going to continue Sniper Elite 4 and Red Dead Redemption 2? I actually wouldn't mind playing some more Sniper Elite. I wouldn't mind playing that. Okay, I'm really behind on, on comments. Um, I still don't understand, but my DMs are always open to you. Ark, mate, it's okay, my dude. It's okay. It's totally okay. Um, they they basically so um I did see a study and I'd love to. I'd love to find this study. Uh, and basically they had um. Two. Let's see if I can find it. They had like two like groups. They had people doing antidepressants and people on on um, mushrooms. Is this it? Let's have a look. Let me let me uh, do something real quick. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can pull up some of these studies and let's have a look, shall we? Um. Total of 34 participants, seven female. <clears throat> We're recruited by word of mouth, social media advertising, blah, 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 blah. Let's look at the abstracts real quick. The use of low sub perceptual dose of psychedelics microdosing has gained popularity in recent years. Although anecdotal reports claim multiple benefits associated with this practice, the lack of placebo controlled studies. Severely limits the knowledge. Okay, so I talked about this in the last video, right? The idea is that um, when you take these substances, it's almost as if it's always um, connected with also meditating after it. So what I said in the video is I don't know whether it's the fact that I'm microdosing or the fact that I'm meditating after the microdose and I'm doing it on a regular basis, if that is what's benefiting me, right? But when you when you take it you kind of have a feeling that it's not just the the meditation because you do feel that little bit of a cloud lifting over you lifting off from you does that make sense anyway uh let's have a look failed to capture them ah so it wasn't really a successful says the other settings could fail to capture the motivation of individuals engaged in plans to engage in microdosing protocols thus underestimating the likelihood of positive effects on creative and cognitive function. 
We recruited 34 individuals starting to microdose with psilocybin mushrooms, one of the materials most frequently used for this purpose. Following a double-blind placebo-controlled experiment design, we investigated the acute and short-term effects of 0.5 grams of dry mushroom. That's quite a lot for a microdose on subjective experiences, behavior, and creativity, perception, cognition, and brain activity. The report, they, the reported acute effects were significantly more intense for the active dose compared to the placebo. Okay, so this is them trying to um, differentiate between placebo and um, an actual dosage. Uh, my internet might have gone there for a second. Just refresh it, guys. Just refresh it if you if you're still there. Um, the report acute effects were significantly more. So this is massive right here. The reported acute effects were significantly more intense for the active dose compared to the placebo, but only for the participants who correctly identified their experimental conditions. So what they're saying is they really try to. To, to define placebo and microdosing, and they found that the people microdosing did have benefits compared to the placebo, which is fantastic. These changes were accompanied by recruited EEG powered power in the Theta brand band, together with preserved levels of lampers. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what that is. For all of the measurements, there was no effect of microdosing except for a few small changes towards cognitive impairment. According to our findings, low dose of psilocybin mushrooms can result in notable subjective effects and altered EEG rhythms, but without evidence to support enhanced well-being, creativity, and cognitive function. We concluded that ex expectations underline at least some, and then the health benefits attributed to microdosing. So it's basically saying that, you know, we're on the brink of figuring out what this is all about. We're on the brink. Let's see if there's... Um any other actual studies that we can that we can find here is Forbes even going to let me read or is it going to be like pay this money and then you can read our stuff <clears throat> a million pop-ups oh my god Forbes what are you doing a new study published in nature okay well let's go to the study um, has observed significant benefits to mood and mental health after one month of microdosing psilocybin mushrooms. There you go. The study took oh, 1,133 people over the course of two years. All subjects were over 18, able to read English, and had, had access to an iPhone iOS device. Passive, blah, 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 blah. Um, do we get, like, a conclusion? These findings join the ranks of peer-reviewed legitimate academic studies that looked at psilocybin as a hopeful treatment for depression yeah so this is the the actual study um can we get a conclusion let's look at the bottom and see if it gives us a conclusion oh my god the amount of freaking pop-ups these days on websites is not gonna it's not gonna give us like a legit like I guess the discussion is probably okay, but results. I'm not going over all the statistics of it. Still, cyber microdosing involves repeated self administration, blah, blah, blah. We already know that. So they took it with Lion's Mane and Niacin, which is a vitamin B3, which is often told to be taken with it. Um, let's have a look. So they did it for approximately 30 days and identified small to medium-sized improvements in mood, mental health that were generally consistent across gender, age, and presence of mental health concerned. As we all, as we all as improve, wait, as we all as, come on guys, improvements in uh, psychomotor performance, that were specific to all the adults. Supplementary anal anal analyzes anal oh my god, I can't even talk, guys. Indicates that combining psilocybin with H E and B3 did not impact changes in mood and mental health. However, among older microdoses, combining psilocybin H3 and B3 was associated with psychomotor improvement related to psilocybin alone and psilocybin and H E. 
Our findings of mood and mental health improvement associated with psilocybin microdosing add to previous studies of psychedelic mo microdosing by using a computer group, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah. I can leave this, um, put this in the chat. So basically what's happening here is there's more and more studies coming out saying that there are benefits to this. There is benefits to this. So what I'm what I'm experienced when I'm doing it is not just me. Why it's not just me? <laughs> Stressed out busy mums are microdosing mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the crack, guys. There's the crack. All right. Let's see what chat's saying. That's friggin' awesome. Meditation after dosing. Yeah, so the idea is, is microdose, you wait like 30 minutes because it takes like 40 minutes for it to really kind of get into your system. And you might and you meditate for like 15 to 20 minutes and you do that on a regular basis, right? And um through this kind of couple of activities, microdosing and meditation, you have a benefit in uh cognitive and mood and and all these other um you know, places where you want want to have benefits. Um, 0 0.5 grams sounds like a moderate dose. Yeah, that is a high, in my opinion, that's a high microdose. They were really making the people go for it, weren't they? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm from a town not far from Manchester. Been to Manchester before. Great place. It is. It's great. Um, don't eat mag don't eat random mushrooms on the ground. That's correct. Make sure you're always cooking mushrooms. Um, and do not eat mushrooms off the ground. Make sure you know what they are first and identify them. It's beneficial. Uh, where are these damn shrooms at? <laughs> it is beneficial. You're gonna start seeing it. What's happening right now is it seems like mushrooms are on that very brink. If you remember, like, um, uh, what cannabis was like in Colorado just before it became legal, where. It became legal and then boom, it like blew up and now pretty much the whole country, well, most of the country is legal and in the US and um, it's become a normal thing now. Like it's become normal. In fact, a lot of people do it over drinking and stuff like that. I think this is what's going to happen with psilocybin mushrooms. I think people are going to start to realize, oh shit, these have got benefits. Oh shit, we can't control what's being grown out of the ground. And then the government's going to come along and be like, we'll, we can probably tax this and make money from it. And it'll become legal. Significant benefits to mood and mental health after a month of microdosing, eh? Seriously. <clears throat> Seriously. Uh, hey, oh, popping in because I love the content personally. I know you might not see it, but I'm just saying I hope a good vibe comes to you and... and and enjoy yourself. I'm smoking. Hope <laughs> oh, for the best. All right, mate. Have a good one. Will you ever try DMT in ayahuasca? Um, I would love to go and do an ayahuasca ceremony. I do know the um, it's see. This is the problem, right? These ceremonies, ayahuasca, peyote, and stuff like that. They are a ceremony developed by a certain culture right and me as a westerner has to be very careful we've seen this with ayahuasca where it's become very commercialized it's been very trendy besides ignore ignore the facts and what it's doing ayahuasca to help people it's becoming very trendy to go to peru and do ayahuasca right um and you have to be very careful not to be like a cult cultural appropriation right where you understand that there's some cultures that are like, please come and do this, learn from it. It's important. I would love to share this with the world. And then there's some people who take advantage of it and try and make money from it. Okay. So we just need to be very, very careful of that and, and uh, acknowledge it. I am not very smart when it comes to this stuff. I'm not going to lie. When it comes to like cultural appropriation and stuff, I should be, but I'm just not very smart at it. Um, I haven't done enough reading on it and I feel like I'm not in a good place to discuss these substances that are genuinely um not only not only they're beneficial but they're very important to a select group of people right and i am not one of them select group of people so unless i was brought in by them people and said we'd love for you to do this then i wouldn't do it if 
I met someone that was like, you should do this. Like, I am, you know, a part of the group and we welcome you and, you know, and it wasn't commercialized, then I would, I would definitely do it. Yeah. I'd love to do ayahuasca. Love to. But again, like, I'd have to make sure that it's the right place at the right time. That's another thing as well that, um, we have to be careful of. Um, I think John Oliver's video, if you haven't seen it, made a, in, in, in a fantastic point with this, is that these ceremonies, when it comes to psilocybin or anything else like ayahuasca, what's happening is they're becoming trendy, right? And what happens when something becomes trendy is it gets commercialized. And the problem is, microdosing psilocybin mushrooms is incredibly beneficial in my opinion to people with depression anxiety and ptsd but if capitalism gets hold of it and realizes it's trendy they'll put it behind a paywall and we're already seeing this some mushroom ceremonies are upwards of thousands of dollars to go to and that is not okay that is not okay because it's inaccessible to some of the people who really need it, okay? I can't afford thousands to go on a ceremony trip. I can't. And yet I have anxiety, depression, and PTSD so severe that I'm trying to figure it out myself. Like, it got to a point, my depression got to a point where I almost t took my own life. It was really bad, okay? And uh, microdosing has legitimately changed my life. Like, I cannot even describe. And to put that behind a paywall because capitalism wants to make money off it is disgusting. Is disgusting. I digress. <clears throat> um, let's have a look. You are awesome. Thank you very much. Our Norse ancestors used to chew up mushrooms and take certain other plants and veg to go into their berserker rage and fury, allegedly. Okay, so, uh, Chungus. <laughs> I am a massive fan of Norse mythology. I've done an ungodly amount of reading. I'd love to show you my shelf here of books. Like, I've got one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I don't know if there's any over there. 15 books strictly on... Oh, my internet's gone. My internet's gone. I'm going to wait for people to be able to see me again. I've got roughly 15 books on the Norse sagas and history, the, the sagas of the Icelanders, uh, the prose edda, the poetic edda, the saga of the Volsung. Um, I've got Children of Ash and Elm, The History of the Vikings by Neil Price, um, Norse Mythology, like I said, the prose editor there, Storley, uh, uh, by Snorri Sturluson, Snorri Sturluson, um, The Half Mile, I've got a lot of stuff when it comes to Norse Mythology, and, um, oh my god, my internet, my internet keeps going, guys, and I'm really sorry about that. Not sure why my internet's being a bit of a pain in the ass right now. Let me just type this in the chat. Um, yeah, so I know, I, I, I would say I know more than average when it comes to Norse mythology, and um, the stories of certain substances using for, used for warriors to go into this berserker mode. Now, I want to put a little caveat there. I've done a little bit of research into this, um, and let me, just, let me just make sure people are understand what we're talking about. This is what Chungus said. He said, our Norse ancestors used to chew up mushrooms and take certain other plants and veg to go into their berserker rage excuse me, allegedly. There is a fantastic YouTube video. Um, let me get this video up for you guys. If you are interested in the history of Norse people taking certain substances to go into them rage modes, Stone Age Man, who is a YouTuber, 
Uh, right here. Let me share this video. Um, this video right here, let me put it in the chat, where he claims from speaking to this lady right here, which I forgot what her name is. So the idea is, uh, the mushroom in this thumbnail here on a me on a, on a Amanita mascara, right? So the, the very like kind of the famous mushroom that's in Super Mario and stuff like that, right? Uh, and I love fucking learning about this stuff, man. I love learning about this. The idea is, is that that grows mostly in these regions where there were berserkers and vikings and stuff. And they presume that that, because it has psychedelic effects, was the mushroom that they were taking um, to go into this berserker kind of rage. Um, the problem with that, this lady says, is that um, you don't get them effects from this mushroom. She claims that you get more calming effects from this mushroom, so it doesn't make sense for that mushroom to be um the one they used i'd love to play the video but obviously i don't want to steal his content um uh, let's see if i can just take a snippet that still leaves the question open was this a drug-induced state some people think definitely not others think there's a good candidate right in front of us here we go. So this is the Give older some background. Henbane for much of the last thousand years was associated with witchcraft. And honestly, this seems to be the most likely candidate since the seeds were in fact found in Viking graves during this period. There you go. But I'll save that. So this this is this is their theory. I oh, guys, I just put a link in the channel in the in the live stream. Go and watch this video. In fact, go and watch stone age man his channel is one of my favorite channels it's absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant he's got stuff like the the one about microdosing. this one right here let me leave a uh, link in the chat if anyone's interested um a very very interesting dialogue and um reporting when it comes to this stuff and he also talks about other stuff which is really really cool like uh, mistletoe uh, which is a fantastic video. I haven't watched his new Chaga one, which I'm really excited about. Um, but honestly, his videos are all absolutely fantastic. They really are. Um, so go and check out that channel uh, if you want to know more about the whole Viking thing. Um, let's have a look here. I gotta go, but I enjoyed. I'm glad the information people are about to benefit some mushrooms and knowledge. Yeah, power to the people. Power to the people. <laughs> Agree, are you just taking talking about microdosing or is this currently going on? Um what do you, what do you mean by that, Christian? Can you elaborate on that a little bit more, please, if that's okay? Um I'm a Hammond. I might be descendant from the Volsungs. Um there was a Volsung by the name of Hamundra Sigurdsson. Um he might be the Proganate. Proganita, of the Hammond name. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. He's a Norwegian or Norman. Okay, that's awesome. That is really cool. I'm guessing you've read all these books then, like uh, the full songs right here. I could, we're, we're really going off topic here, guys. We're really going off topic. Um, but yeah, I'd love to talk about Norse mythology and Celtic mythology. In any mythology, in fact. I'm obsessed with any mythology. Um, but we digress. We digress. We can leave that for another video. Gamer Quest becomes a recruit. Thank you so much. I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you and welcome. Um, weren't golden caps native to Europe? I, I'm not sure, actually. I couldn't tell you that. Hey, Luke. When, I pl when will you play Doom Eternal? Looking forward to seeing your reaction to the cutscene. At least hope you're doing well. With your family. I'd like to play some more Doom Eternal. Uh, I believe it's very setting based. Yeah, 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 yeah. I meant, are you currently microdosing or are we just discussing about it? Um, today is my day to micro microdose, but I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it. Um, and I'm not going to do it on live stream. <laughs> Obviously, I'll probably get demonetized and stuff. And again, all this stuff is, you know, it's my opinion. If you ever thought about doing this stuff, you have to go to the doctors and um, see a therapist first and all that. Okay, it's really important that you do that stuff. Um, 
I still believe it's very setting based. Yeah, it is very setting based. You have to make sure set and setting is the big thing. Set and setting. I wish here, this book here talks about it a lot, which is honestly one of the... I'm only like a little bit into this and it's it's blown me away with how much good information is in here when it comes to learning about it. Talking about having a guide, talking about set and setting here. To establish the best possible environment for spiritual psychedelic sessions, it is critical to keep in mind six primary factors that most affect the nature and value of these experiences. Set, setting, and then he goes on to, to say a few other ones. Substance and quantity, so the dose. Sitter and guide, session and situation. Highly recommend this book. Fantastic. So this is The Psychedelics Explorer's Guide by James Fadiman, PhD. Okay. Um, <clears throat> have you seen the Halo Infinite three, uh, Halo Infinite season three cinematic? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't played Halo Infinite in ages, which makes me really sad. Super glad to catch you going live. I've been sub for a while now. Love your content. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. Off topic, but the best topic topic is the best topic. I I totally agree with you. I I love talking about mythology. I wish you could see my shelf. It's so beautiful so beautiful uh anyways getting off topic uh when you talked earlier about the dmt and ayahuasca ceremonies you talked about the fear of cultural appropriation i just wanted to remind you of the northern uh euro ancestry and euro ancestry and mushroom yeah no i this is the thing right we know that substances have been used the greeks did it for for a coming of age um thing we know that this has been used in europe as well the only thing is, is that we know that um, most of the pagan rituals were wiped out in Europe um, when the Christiani Christianization happened, right? We know that these very sacred, important rituals uh, were wiped out, unfortunately. In um, South America, some of that last, even though most of it's been wiped out by Christianity as well, um, some of it still remains, and it does definitely remain in Native American culture. And you can see these people still using peyote and, and mushrooms and stuff like that um, for their rituals, which is very, very cool. And we can't see that in Europe anymore, apart from seeing it in stories that are told, which is very sad. It breaks my heart because I'm a big fan of pagan um, stories and rituals and mythology. Uh, yeah. Love Norse mythology, yep. I have been speaking with my doctor about the possibility of this for PTSD. I currently am working to improve. Yeah, there is good resources out there, um, clinics to go to, people to speak to. Um, again, there, there's so much stuff we can talk about here. We can talk about the history and use, like I said, in pagan rituals and ceremonies. We can talk about the current science that's going on when it comes to microdosing. We can talk to the cultural appropriation of said substance, substances. We can talk about the capitalized capitalism of substances making it incredibly difficult for uh, the people who need it the most can't get it because they don't have the money for it we can talk about the the legal part of it where these substances were unnecessarily banned when they have a benefit to humanity there are so many ways you can talk about this stuff but what's most important is us talking like this right now is creating a dialogue which is very important is very important i'm not saying at all that you should go and do it that's the last thing i am saying i just want to start the conversation for people who are who want to know more about it okay that's really important because i know youtube also have strict guidelines when it comes to this type of stuff and um we need to be very clear that there's got to be a lot more science before this should hit the market mainstream all right we know that weed kind of pushed its way through to legality and there's still a lot of science that's trying to keep up with that we still know that it sometimes can affect the brain in negative ways but it could also have some benefits and and i'm not going to talk about uh, marijuana like it, like i know a lot about it because i really don't but there's still a lot of science that needs to be done even when that is legal okay so um uh, let's just bear that in mind all right we know that a lot of people are moving away from alcohol to do this stuff because they think it has better benefits um in my opinion it does but that's my opinion um so 
we, we need to see where this goes. I've been speaking with my... Oh, yeah, I already read that one. Sorry. Hi, Luke. I'm a fan. Uh, I'm a fan from Sri Lanka. I have never heard about... Have you ever heard about my country? Greetings. Of course I've heard about your country. It's supposed to be beautiful. Hey, original human. I have loved the channel for a long time and I wanted to thank you uh, for helping me lose weight and work hard. I'm going through my GCSEs and want to join the army. Keep up the good work, my dude. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, And I'm really glad that I had a positive benefit on you. Supposedly, the Salem Witch Trials can be attributed to a bad frost that year that altered the grain everyone was eating. Thanks, Joe Rogan. Oh, uh, yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. That's all bizarre, in it? Um... I could go into, uh, you know what, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to go into it. I, I have my own beliefs, my own thoughts, my own spirituality that I'm not going to get into on the channel. Um, so yeah, if there's any other questions about this, we're going to end it in the next five, ten. We're going to end it in the next five, ten minutes. Uh, again, a good a good place to look is this this channel, Stone Age Man. He's got some great stuff um so check that out he's honestly got some fantastic work and i highly recommend it um fantastic videos he says he's got shadow banned unfortunately probably because he's talking about psilocybin um which i think i got shadow banned a while back but who knows um which is a shame because youtube should understand that this should be a free place for us to talk about this stuff and hopefully they don't freaking demonetize me for talking about it which would be ridiculous considering i've said you're not allowed you're not supposed to do it you got to talk to a doctor um have you heard about the study of cancer patients who were much more comfortable with death after taking the shrooms yes i have heard of that that was on a documentary on youtube called how to change your mind i highly recommend you watch that fantastic fantastic documentary off topic off topic fact but it always blows my mind acid was discovered and made around the biggest and bloodiest war in Europe. Yeah. I unfortunately have to go. See you later, mate. I'm going to go as well. If you've got any more questions, leave them in the comments section of this video when it gets uploaded as a video. Other than that, I'm glad we were able to talk about it and uh, have an open dialogue about it. All right, guys. I love you all. I will speak to you all soon. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.